Darkness. A pale faced creature is stalking the darkness, and YouTuber Terror Alex Streamo is stalking it back. At first, the creature is barely distinguishable. No se ve nada, ¿verdad? Es que sí. La neblina está. But then it can be seen passing behind the pillar. And then around the side of the building. It starts causing chaos. And it doesn't stop. Boing. When they try to walk away, it draws them back in. It's like they're playing a game of cat and mouse, and it's getting more and more dangerous. But what creature is playing with them? They spot it again in the end, but it's just a fragment of the being. Hey, Leo, allá banco. Hey, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? What is this thing? I am not sure exactly, but it's definitely a paranormal entity judging by all the mayhem. Number s It's a full moon and a YouTuber who goes by the name of Al Capone is in the most hectic cemetery I have ever seen. He can't even explain what he's been through without getting interrupted. Okay, things moving behind tombstones while I was driving. Then listen to this at 4 minutes and 52 seconds. No, behind me. Oh, you heard behind the, you. I heard No, you. I heard what was by you, but I'm saying by the cars like Al is talking when another man's voice speaks at the same time. What they hear a minute and a half later leaves their mouths hanging open. <laughs> I mean, this could be neighbors from some of the nearby houses, except there's really no reason for anybody to be shouting near the cemetery in the middle of the night. Plus, the direction these voices are coming from is deeper in the cemetery, away from the houses and closer to the woods. And since this video was made in the middle of January 2020, I doubt anyone was out there camping. This strange knocking happens at the same time every night and no other times during the day. This is definitely no animal. Whoever is knocking wants to make its presence known and apparently wants to get in now immediately. I can also hear a strange paranormal voice before they knock during this part. I don't think it's the television because you don't hear it during any other part of the video. He shows us the outside of the trailer, and clearly nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet when he returns indoors, so does the knocking from outside. Five minutes has been doing it. Hopefully whatever this is never gets the idea to try the door. A YouTuber named Backpacker Tampan and his friend Tom go ghost hunting in Indonesia. They want to explore an old hotel, but to get there they have to go through some scary woods and cross a narrow bridge over rushing waters, a bridge with some sketchy areas missing. A few planks too many if you ask me. When they get inside the hotel, they find themselves in awe of the sheer size of the place and somehow get split up. This room in particular absolutely refuses to stay in focus and it feels to him like someone could be near. And someone in the comments says that a shadow person is hanging around the doorway outside of the room 4 seconds later. It's nothing more than his reflection if you ask me. Weird but not paranormal. But then he records movement across the doorway at the exact moment he thinks Tom is near. Maybe he's downstairs. Hey, Dora, I can see. Tom? Whatever this is we're looking at, it isn't Tom. It seems to follow him from floor to floor wherever he goes. Eventually, Tom is found, and together at that moment, they sense a third presence standing next to them. Okay, we might gonna record here, I think. Can you do it with your phone? 
I think it sounds like editing because you can hear a bass line if you listen closely, like it's part of a song. Can you do it with your phone? Tell me if you think this really happens, or do you think it was added later? Can you do it with your phone? YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series explored the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, where they found they were not alone. The cameraman explains that while exploring the various cells, he started hearing things. Went to go do uh, that talk with George, and I had to go move the van. Well, I didn't know where in the hell you guys went. So I, I walked around every one of these cells. And I got into here, and this was the first time walking in here. And I got it. Then a series of crazy things happen. I just had a cold breeze go by me. I know you've had a lot of groups in here, people in here with equipment. Here are some of those same events from another angle. While the singing is disturbing, it sounds like mechanical screaming of some kind to me. It's very repetitive, like the whining of machinery, but this image gives me the creeps. You come closer. I think this place is 100% haunted. A YouTuber who goes by Anne posted this video back in 2014 of her sleepwalking activity at night. Using a webcam, she is able to record herself night after night jolting up while still being completely asleep. People have debated the authenticity of this video in the comments, but Anne swears she still does this every night to this day. I genuinely believe this footage is real because sleepwalking is a well-documented behavior. Anne says she finds the footage hilarious, but there's something certainly chilling about that blank stare directly into the camera as she's 100% asleep. Something keeps coming into this creepy front yard out in the countryside, something from the edge of the woods. He's seen it once before and soon, he sees it again. It looks like an extra tall, extra dimensional creature with a single horse-like leg bent inward at the knee. The upper half looks like that of a man. It looks like it could maybe be a trick of the light from the single street light in his yard. However, his camera is relatively still when it happens. The creature moves left to right, but his camera isn't moving enough to blame it on the lighting in my opinion. Two friends unlock the door to an unfinished attic and step inside. Their single flashlight briefly shines across a mattress that nearly takes up the entire space. As they ponder what all of this means, a force pushes them over and the room goes dark. When the flashlight kicks back on, one of them gets off the ground on unsteady feet. What's wrong? Just go. What? Just, just go. Go? I think there is a possibility they could be acting, but then again, maybe a spirit is bound to the mattress and doesn't take kindly to intruders. If you're eating grapes right now, step away from the bunch. Published by Sam Turner in September of 2015, a close-up of this grape bunch shows that something is growing on it and that something is hatching. Oh my lord. Oh my it's cro- Ah! A spider is literally crawling out of the grapes these people purchased from a chain grocery store. The grapes were packaged in plastic, there appears to be a web wrapped around the vine, and the yellow sack spider crawls out of it. Several people in the comments say they found the same thing in their grapes from various grocery stores. Some commenters implied that supermarket staff were somehow responsible. But Pika Pika writes, The grocery store doesn't just insert a free spider. Grapes are scary. It doesn't matter where they're from. I had baby spiders crawling out of my grapes along with supposed mothers. Moral of the story? Don't eat expletive grapes. Or I'll add to that, just be mindful when you do. Spider. Oh my. That's a spider crawling out of our grape. <laughs> If you've ever had something in your home act out of character, then you might feel Alex Huff's pain. 
The TikToker appears to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial when her wardrobe starts to creak open. I use the Milani 05 Soleil. So I'm gonna try that on. And. And then suddenly slams shut and bursts open again. The room's light above goes out and then, as she's peering into the wardrobe, that light falls dim as well. Alex posted a second video showing that no one is inside or outside the wardrobe and yet it's creaking again. In the third video, she's getting her room sage to get rid of whatever evil entity lies within. Burning sage is said to provide a spiritual cleansing for the home. Hopefully it did rid of the bad energy and Alex can go back to doing her makeup tutorials in peace. Based on the events happening here though, I wouldn't be surprised if that house is legitimately haunted. Jeremy Pulverenti says he's caught a real ghost encounter on video. Security footage of the mysterious event only leaves him all the more stunned in response. Look at, do you see there's nothing by the wheels or anything? You can see it on an angle. And that hose is way over there. You see it on the angle? Yep. What the f he and his friends suggest the container is leaning over like somebody is holding it. At 35 seconds, there's a ghostly footprint moments before the object falls over on its own, and they react as expected. Common sense would suggest that the container tipped over because it was overfilled except for one thing. They've been filling this container with water for years, and everyone knows exactly how much it holds. This is strange to say the least, and with almost 75 5,000 views, almost no dislikes, and all his friends backing him up. It's definitely worth looking at. I think it could be one of the wheels on the bottom coming loose, or a small hole opening up on the side we can't see. But with that said, a haunted garage is not completely out of the question. A YouTuber named Isaac Telford gathers a group of friends with one goal in mind. We're exploring an abandoned house. Haunted or not, they are certain they will be able to go exploring the house without a problem. As they laugh and joke their way from room to room, they start to get the feeling that this house might not be so abandoned after all. Dude, there's a bed. Hey, is it me? Yo, there's a bed. It's like pillows and everything. Yeah, hold on, guys. Abandoned houses don't tend to have perfectly made beds, clothing items are randomly discarded, and create an impression that someone has been staying here for some time. We're trying. Hey, let's get on Yeah, let's get out. Let's try to talk to a ghost, all right? This is the basement, guys. We're gonna go down in it. All right, let's go, boys. It looks like mostly random clutter, but seriously, somebody please tell me what's up with the huge pile of shoes. There are shoes of all different sizes, men's and women's, an odd collection to have. It's like they're being kept as trophies. Soon they leave the house and want to go exploring an abandoned nearby prison instead. They pull up to the haunted place and are about to go inside when something bizarre happens. Okay, hold on. We have a car. Dude, there's never been a car on this road. Hey, maybe we're just gonna drink it. Oh, we should go. <clears throat> oh, are they flashing again? Isaac makes a turn and quickly shuts off his headlights. Oh my. Oh my. Dude, they, I think they saw us. Yeah, we're turning. Okay, we're gonna take off. They wait in the darkness and eventually the car passes. It's late at night by now and Isaac is nervous and tired and makes a wrong turn into a construction yard. That's when they meet up with the mysterious car again. He turns off the camera because getting out of there is more important than getting content. They managed to escape this time, but I have little doubt this was probably the same person living in the old house they explored earlier. They seem to have made an enemy out of this stranger by exploring his house. Hopefully, he isn't planning to one day go exploring their houses in return. Strange light. Is this human morphing into the wall, or did he just disappear into the light? This ring video shared by Mo Benjamin to the Chills Narrator subreddit shows what looks like a normal person passing in front of this house, but is he normal? The figure disappears from the top down, and then this happens. Watch the wall to the left.
What was that mysterious light? In my humble opinion, I think this is a type of camera glitch where the human blends into the shades in the background, and as the dude enters a door off screen, this might explain the light appearing against the opposite wall. What do you think? Did I crack the case? Number 18. A group of kids are hanging out at a park in New York when a much older man strolls through their group no less than three times. In his left hand is what appears to be some kind of small bag with a tightly wrapped camera lens sticking out the middle. The camera is held low and pointed at the teens as he walks by. And I could be wrong, but it looks like he might be trying to stare at someone out of the corner of his eye without alerting their suspicions. Finally, after standing in the middle of the crowd without moving for over 30 seconds, one of the teens calls him out for his allegedly shady behavior. Watch how quickly he bolts and tell me if you think he was up to something no good. This video is undoubtedly real, and all we can do is hope this man was eventually brought to justice. Get thee to a nunnery. That's what this ghost of a nun did, and it didn't turn out well for her. Dima from YouTube channel A Sip of Fear encounters the nun's ghost in this scary video. First, he sees an unexplained shadow. Then he hears an unexplained noise. Who is this? He senses something in this abandoned church. Still not seeing anything, a steady cam captures a quiet noise at night. Later, footsteps are heard. While we don't get a glimpse of the notorious nun, I can feel her presence in this sacred place, and it sure doesn't feel holy. This submission comes from my new subreddit, where you can post whatever bizarre things you come across in your everyday life. It's reddit.com slash r slash chills narrator if you want to check it out. Lost Cosmonaut 01 says that he has been dealing with paranormal stuff ever since he was a child. Apparently, spirits have always taken an interest in him. Anyway, he lives alone, and one night, he managed to take a picture of this possible ghost sighting in his basement. What interests me is that this streak of light highly resembles whatever was shown in number 4. If anyone has an explanation besides the paranormal as to how this could have been caused, then please let me know and be sure to keep your submissions coming. Go figure. The Great Salt Air in Salt Lake City is full of secrets. YouTube team Broken Wings Paranormal joins forces with Cold Spot Paranormal and discovers a giant figure is lurking in this spooky place. Is he dancing? Can you raise your arm? Like this? Wave high? Hand up? They capture the figure on the Kinect device in a dark room. Is it a giant? Look how huge that is. I know. Can you bend over and touch your toes? It's growing. Its head is like almost off the screen on the little side. Josh tries to reach out and touch it, and he feels something supernatural. No, but I feel tinglys on my fingertips. Stand up and let's see what happens. Oh, look at it leaning the other way. It's like it's propping itself up with its elbow. As Josh gets closer, the entity disappears. Where he is. Oh, oh he's he left. left. You put your arm on it now. You touched him and he left. And he just... Really? Yeah, okay. the minute you make contact. In a surprising turn of events, 
It looks like the ghost got frightened by the living. It seems to me that Josh entered the spirit's personal space and they didn't like it at all. I've got a chel. For years, this man experienced paranormal activity in his home, including books and Xbox games thrown on the floor and lights turned on. After setting up a camera, he finally captured footage of the poltergeist, published by Seth Lee Thompson in July of 2010. This is just a small taste of what Seth has been dealing with. A second clip shows the stairwell at night. The last clip shows the ghost playing with the lights. According to Seth, the light switch you see to the right is the only one connected to the corresponding light. It flicks on and off several times. Is this hallway haunted? If it is, don't be scared. As YouTuber Dark Pisces reminds us in the comments, just because spirits move things does not make them automatically evil. A son who is too young to tell time keeps coming into his parents' room at 3 a.m. to tell them that something is in the room with him. They think it's weird so they set up cameras all around the house and sure enough, at 3 a.m. they catch these broad, scary faces that lean in and look directly at the camera. I'm really hoping that this is a mask, but without a closer video, we will never know for sure. A paranormal investigation channel called Ghosts of Britain think they've met their match while exploring one of the scariest haunted places in their corner of the world. An abandoned house with an unsettling atmosphere and more creepy things in it than you can imagine. On the table, they find creepy pictures left behind by someone young. A family must have lived here. The drawing and the lone meat hook in the corner do not pair well. Somehow, I doubt that it was used to hang plants. They lay down a motion detector next to a toy for whoever made the picture to play with. We want to try and make sense out of this place. We want to know about its history. It isn't long before someone takes them up on their creepy invitation, and that's when things get really scary even for a team of ghost hunters. Brianna. The bear's just gone Did you see that? Now. The bear was just, just pushed over. Oh. The bear was just pushed I over. Away, boy, yeah. Do you know what? People are going to scream fake at this, you know? Well. They think no one will believe this ghost video is real, but I think it's possible. Their equipment reads out the word Brianna, and then the toy falls over like a paranormal entity trying to pick it up. If it was on a string, then the object should have fallen towards them, but it doesn't. It falls the opposite way. Perhaps the ghost of someone small is still trapped in this abandoned house, or at least that's what the evidence would suggest. YouTuber NM Ghost Hunter shares a series of videos in which he's documented the poltergeist activity happening in his home. Let's take a look. This first piece of footage occurred on February 5th, 2022. This happens for a full minute, while in another room this happens. In a second clip, captured on February 21st, the poltergeist strategically destroys his kitchen. In a third clip, captured on the 10th of August, the poltergeist was making a lot of noise in the garage, so the YouTuber grabbed his camera. This is what he captured. And this is the footage he captured on his handheld camera. Are you evil? Is that a yes or a no? If you're evil, flick the light again. Okay. Whoa. 
After this, he went back inside but left one camera in the garage filming. It captured this. And lastly, on November 12th, he captured some activity near the living room, watched the bookshelf, Here it is from another angle. This all certainly looks alarming to me. I think this is more than enough evidence to call in the Ghostbusters. Jordan Powers sees something in the sky, and all his mom can do is get mad at him for it. She doesn't see anything and thinks that he has lost his mind, but we can see them just fine. Mysterious lights, five of them all flying in a strange formation. Jordan describes these unexplained lights as silver in color and months later still has no idea what they were. It happened in Kelowna, a city in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Somebody from Virginia says they've seen the same lights and describes them as hiding in the clouds. I'll admit this short 13 second video is not a lot to go on, but what little evidence there is does look unedited and quite bizarre. Hopefully I can find a longer video taken by somebody else on the same day to confirm this sighting is real. Flash. This noise anomaly is freaky. YouTuber SS3 Paranormal captures a strange sound, followed by a dark flash in the corner of the room. Look and listen. Let's isolate the two. Here's the noise. It almost sounds extraterrestrial to me. And here's the flash. Watch the top right corner. Well, that could be explained by the camera's light adjustment. I'm not sure what the sound is. Maybe an extraterrestrial's belly growling? If that's the case, feed him. Number 20. This video shows you never know what you might encounter next in the desert. Haley Steele was at Burning Man 2012 in Black Rock City, Nevada, when a massive dust devil formed right in front of her very eyes. Oh sh here it comes. Oh, that kid's gonna ride right through it. Amazingly, you can see someone casually riding their bike as the massive cloud of dust surrounds him. If this was happening in front of me, I'd be hightailing it out of there. The last thing I want is dust in my eyes, ears, and nose. This Great Dane is walking through the kitchen when a small object crosses its path. Another orb passes by and immediately gets noticed. You don't have to be an animal lover to tell this dog is clearly surprised and uncertain at what it's seeing. The animal freezes in place and then switches into hunting mode, tracking something invisible all throughout the house. I guess the dog could just be reacting to an insect or something, but that doesn't explain one last part, which occurs approximately 1 minute and 23 seconds into the video. This is the exact moment when the headlights of a passing car illuminate a shadowy figure as it runs from left to right. Many people believe this could be a supernatural presence manifesting itself as a shadow person. This combined with the dog's behavior certainly seems to create a strong enough case for the paranormal. Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. 
for a long while. They walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment where it captures this figure in white. Nossa, my <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. Filmed at the Holy Love Apparition site, the video shows two statues in a field backlit by the sun. Those getting the footage get closer to the statues. In the close-up, the statue's eyes appear to be blinking. While it could be an effect on the sunlight, it looks like the statue is legitimately opening and closing its eyes. Of course, there are some believers in the comments, and then there are some doubting the whole incident as well. So YouTubers, is this a miracle or just an optical illusion? When you're playing peekaboo with the paranormal, it's never a game. Posted to the ghost video subreddit by Podcast Africa, the clip shows an urban explorer walking through an abandoned house. As he walks down the corridor, he glances in a room to his left. There's a big empty window to the room beyond, and in that window this peeks out, a shadow person or a real one. The dark shadow ducks down quickly and the explorer hurries over into the next room and finds it completely empty. So who or what is playing around here? Or are they even playing? Hungry for a midnight snack? This video will get you over your nighttime hunger. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Paranormal Nightmares explains, My husband got up to grab a bowl of cereal, and we had the security cam recording in our kitchen because earlier in the day a cupboard opened on its own. We decided to record overnight, but this happened and it scared him. In the video, the dude is nonchalantly making himself a bowl of cereal as mentioned, but when he goes to grab the milk from the fridge, the cereal box moves clear across the counter on its own. Surprised, the man brushes it off, but as he pours his milk, the box moves slightly, and when he returns to the fridge, it slides clear across the counter again, finally falling to the floor. Needless to say, this guy takes this as his cue to book it out of the kitchen. Many YouTubers advise this poor haunted couple to move, while others are more worried about whether or not the guy eventually got his cereal. Because you know, priorities. An encounter with a mysterious, pale figure in the forest. What could go wrong? Published by F2 Fun Facts YT. This cameraman arrives at a cement well that may be home to a madman. Peering down into it, he only sees darkness, but then he pulls back and casts the camera over his surroundings. In a corner near another cement structure, a pale figure is crouched. The figure looks human but keeps very still, that is, until it suddenly springs up, turns around and launches at the cameraman. Its movements are incredibly agile, almost superhuman, and its skin is inhumanely pale. Does it live in the well? Needless to say, the cameraman flees, leaving us to wonder if the creature was human or something else. Some videos on the internet can haunt you. February 20th, 2003, Station Nightclub, a great white concert. The headliner takes the stage seconds after they open with their billboard hit Desert Moon. Pyrotechnics are launched by the tour manager as part of the spectacle. Little does he know that the acoustic foam located in the ceilings and walls around the stage will soon go ablaze. Most initially believed it was part of the show, but soon the crowd began to understand that this was not a controlled incident. The band's lead vocalist, Jack Russell, said into the microphone, Wow, that's not good. Before some of the band and their entourage fled the stage via the west exit, a stampede towards the main exit resulted in a bottleneck and trampling. Cameraman Brian Butler for WPRI-TV of Providence was there that night filming for a piece on nightclub safety. Some of his footage was released to national news stations. If you're wondering if you can stomach the footage, take notes from Redditor Buffalady87 who writes, 
The worst part is in the beginning, there's so much screaming. Then as people are running outside, you realize it's actually pretty quiet. Not because people calm down, but because you are actually listening to the people still inside. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has seen a lot in his line of work, but he calls this the worst night he's ever had in a haunted house. Let's see why. First, something appears on his monitor. A little later, the lights go out. Then something lets itself in. Tim checks it out. When he doesn't find anything, he decides to sleep, but he really shouldn't. <laughs> the demon seems to have choked him. And that's not the end of it. He says the inscription was written as if from inside the mirror. Later, the demon is again captured, creeping on the monitor. As Tim looks for him, he's found hiding. And the game continues. Until the demon makes its move. I don't think I've seen a demon appear on camera like that before. And then for it to get so aggressive, Tim is lucky to have made it out. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.